hi guys good day and welcome back to the ask for Ake channel as you already know on this channel we talk about everything relating to complaint and relationship management so today on this channel and on this week episode we're going to be talking about the four major types of complaints slash complainer the four major types of complaint slash complainer so we have four and they are the aggressive complainer the expressive complainer the passive complainer and the constructive complainer so i would like to go first by explaining who the aggressive complainer is the kind of complainer that complains loudly to anyone and whoever cares to listen when such a customer walks in to lodge a complaint they rant they shout they do not care who is listening they want to complain to whoever is willing to give them and hear and hear them out also this type of complainer they are they, they always discard excuses they are not open they are, they are not willing to listen to any form of excuse that you have as a company or as an individual for giving them for for, for them having an unsatisfactory experience they do not want to listen once they are not okay with your service or product they are not okay they do they do not care what you have to say what explanation you have to give for that product or for the mess whatever mess that has happened for them to come and launch a company they do not care they do not want to listen so and also if you are a customer service officer you need to watch out like you have to be weary of this kind of com complainer because they might give you that like this kind of complainer might just lash out and just give you a dirty slap that is how aggressive they can be they are they are so exp like they react they are reactive so if they are not pleased in with their hunger they might just give you a dirty slap or something so you have to be very very careful and one way to actually calm this kind of customer down or complainer down is to give them numerous options okay when you are offering solutions to their problem or to their complaints let them be in charge like give them options let them choose so that way they will feel like okay they are in control they actually have control they can choose and select whatever they want to the second one the expressive complainer just as the word also implies this type of complainer they they they, they, they only wanted to express themselves they really do not care if there is a solution to the problem but what they want is let me just express how i feel they're not after the resolution they just wanted to know okay this thing is not fine by me i'm not okay with it and that is it they just wanted to know that okay this services is not that good it's not too good this type of complainer they are sociable and impossible so they really do not care if you have a solution to the boss they just wanted to know no this is how i feel I, this doesn't feel good this doesn't feel all right and that's it so it ends there so then we move to the next type of complainer which is the passive complainer passive the word passive this type of complainer and you have to be very very careful you have to watch out for them they are the most deadly and the most dangerous because this type of complainer will complain to virtually anybody who cares to listen also but not the business so you may tarnish the image of the brand because you know when there is an issue and a customer comes to you to lodge a complaint you actually know what to fix but a passive complainer will not complain to the to the to the to the, to the, to the brand they will not complain to the appropriate quarter they complain to anybody their neighbors their spouses their family and friends by that you know when they complain that they had a bad experience about your product and such person that listens to such a complaint will not be willing to patronize the brand and the complaint on the other hand also will not be able to make corrections to that because the complaint will not be in the picture that complainer will not complain to the company so a passive complainer they can complain to anyone else but not the company and the last but not the least is the constructive complainer this type of complainer is the best for any business the constructive complainer like the word also implies this type of complainers has a sound reason they reason very well before they even lodge a complaint they are analytical so this type of complainer and even when they are lodging the complaint they are giving you solution they explain okay this type of if this particular service i do not like it i would have appreciate if you do it this way I would appreciate if you do it this way so this type of problem as they are complaining they are also giving you solutions to the problem that they are facing so they are the best to any business and i hope that with these four points you as a customer service officer or as a company as a business owner already have an idea 
of what to look out for in the customers and what types of complaints or complainer that we have. So thank you for listening, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next week.